And man, what's good everybody? It's your boy Clouds. Welcome back to another video. Today I got for you guys how to become a collab manager for NFT project. I already made a video on how to become a moderator and as well as how to become an alpha hunter. So if you've missed those, go ahead and check it out. But now we're moving on to the big boy, which is the collab manager. Now the collab manager, what, what is a collab manager, right? Everybody sees them in projects. What do they do? How do I become one? Uh, you know, do they get paid? You know, everybody has these questions. First and foremost, yes, okay. Collab managers do get paid. Secondly, yes, I will tell you what they are and what do they do but hit that like subscribe button i would appreciate it follow me on my twitter your boys on the come up so let's hop on discord and talk about this now you're in a project and you might see one that says community manager or collab manager right here is one of my least favorite community managers of all time usually they're always the people that are on top of every other row as you can see i'm a moderator i'm a peasant so in simple forms collab manager is basically a person who brings together collabs and everybody has to come to you for these collabs you are the ones to set up the collabs receive the collabs and agree on the collabs so anything that has to do with collabs and whitelist allocations you are the person to post it and to pretty much announce it so if you go to every single project that has whitelist giveaways the collab manager is always the one to either post them or either alpha hunter which mainly is the collab manager that's accepting them so if we go to the whitelist giveaways of course you're going to see one of my least favorite collab managers right here is actually posting the collab that is mainly what you're going to do and once you actually post the collab you have to receive the names of the winners and send it over to the person that you made the collab with so that could be answering tickets answering tickets figuring out which collabs are better people are going to come at you aka alpha hunters they're going to come at you with a message saying can we collab here's an example right here we got somebody trying to do a collab so if you're a collab manager of course you would respond to this and try to figure out if it's a good collab or not so now let's get into the specifics on basically how to become a collab manager all right you're ready to take on all these tasks now what do i do clouds do i hit up the team do i let you know what do i do well it's as simple as that all right all you got to do is contact the team just like my past videos is the same exact app template you gotta hit up anybody that's in the team at the top and make sure that you're actually being professional with it so as an example i'm either going to hit up anybody that's up here sometimes founders don't really respond too much so either hit up a moderator a pr or a community manager so let's say you're on a project and you're ready to try to be a collab manager right you have no experience or if you do have experience that's kind of a plus for you because you get to put that and let them know that but let's say you find a project that you kind of want to do it for your best bet is to hit up anybody at the very top from all the way until it stops at at wells because usually projects have the highest row up to wells i recommend looking for the ticket so you know we're gonna find right here it says create a ticket and you can fill up applications as well sometimes but usually signing up for applications to become a moderator or collab manager nobody really looks at that you know even if they do i highly recommend you still do both of them so sign the form if there is any now a big big thing that you have to be careful on is if you're going to join a project that's already established it's going to be very hard for you to become a community manager or collab manager for them so you want to always look for projects that are new because they're going to want you even better if you have zero experience look for new projects okay don't join these existing projects because they're not going to like you or you look for a project that's really small so let's say for example i'm using lavish llamas okay it seems like they don't have too much going on so you know we can always slide in the dms of the the people up here and just create a ticket right here and be like hey i'm an upcoming collab manager i would love to become a part of this project and help out the community best as i can with these collabs you know it's just simple wording like that that can kind of benefit you now i know you're confused clouds how do i find these these are hard to find first off follow me on my twitter all right i do be liking a lot of projects that are really new upcoming i myself am finding these projects myself and hitting them up some projects hit me up now so even you just becoming a community manager or collab manager yourself and posting on twitter just being on twitter being really active checking the feed you can find a project like that really simple and get into it very early so let's say you find the project okay now what do you tell them how do you talk to them you just slide in the tickets or in their dms let me give you a small little template so here i typed up this small little message you know nothing really Really too crazy again i'm not a professional at this i'm usually already good at getting these jobs so this is what it says right here i came across the project and really liked what i was seeing and wondered if the team was looking for any experienced collab managers to help bring in some great collabs now that's something small now i have not really used this template but usually it's something along the lines like this now another huge thing man is to get these jobs you need to meet some friends you need to meet people who are going to engage with you and these people are going to help you out as well that's basically how i started off in the space i became a moderator and then i gained friends with other moderators so yeah man just go around find some friends on twitter is the number one place you probably want to be on and discord as well but just make sure you're being like really yourself and not just trying to beg for some job and speaking of that i do have a discord that i'm currently still working on i have not invited too many people it's currently closed right now but if you want to join it follow my twitter and comment down below in the video i am looking for some sort of people either you're an artist want to be mod collab manager now there's a lot of people that want to become moderators so you got to kind of stick out so it's highly important that you just 
stick out and don't just say can i become a collab manager or moderator because you're going to be just like everybody else that is what i kind of want to help you guys out with is my server okay i do want to post jobs that are upcoming or i do want to post how to become a moderator what to say or if you're an artist or already experienced in this you can probably help me out with my server and you know we become best friends and help each other out so yeah if you want to join soul goons comment down below follow my twitter and even dm me okay i do get a lot of messages from you guys and i do respond now boom okay now let's give this one example a guy hits me up in the ticket section i'm looking at the ticket if i'm interested i do say hey can you tell me more about the project or how many spots are you willing to allocate boom pow he tells me how many spots now i'm ready to post it you do have to know how to run a giveaway bot which i will make a video on that for you guys if you do not know how to do that now here's me doing this in action okay i currently work for a project called demigods you know really good project if you guys want to check it out now, basically i'm a collab manager for them all i really have to do is ask for a template okay if you're working for a project always ask for a template this is usually what it's gonna look like okay so i join the ticket and i say got some wireless i would love to allocate to you guys you want to make sure the template involves all of this and the ones that are going to provide that are the team members all right you do not have to make the template the team has to send this to you you have to ask for it be like can i get a template so i can start these collabs so now you go out to other projects start tickets and you just send them this well not generally this but you have to start off saying like hey i have some wireless i would love to allocate and like i said when you run the giveaway bot you basically have to collect the names send them over to your team or apply the roles yourself with usually you're going to be a collab manager so you should be able to apply the roles it's sort of that simple fam you don't really have to do too much work but in a sense if you're doing this for multiple projects yes it does become more than often but if you know what you're doing it becomes so easy and it becomes a routine and boom pow you now have a collab manager job and you now have experience so i really hope you guys did enjoy this video on how to become a collab manager if you have any questions comment up down below or follow my twitter and dm me on there so yeah man hit that like subscribe button kiss you all on your forehead and you guys go make that bread